Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, good evening, everybody. And welcome back <laughs> to the Covenant Radio that brings Ooh. life on the airwaves. We are back in the studio after that session this afternoon. There's a whole lot that I can say, but there's a whole lot that I don't even want to say. It's just like mm. I'm feeling it, man. <laughs> you know, you just come out of God's presence and you just sometimes you don't even want to talk. You just want to stay. You want to just mm. reserve and retain everything. I don't know how it's been for the rest of you all, man. <laughs> so anyway, but this, welcome back. This is Covenant Radio Studio Session. I am Demola. And with me, I have... Akim Odupe. And, and Omar. Omar. <laughs> Omar looking pretty today. How many comments have you gotten since I said it in the morning? It was kind of prophetic, right? Yeah, very prophetic. Hallelujah. Of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, 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 right. So we'll be getting right back into it. And um, welcome everybody to our evening session. And um, I'd just like to let you start. How has it been this evening? Uh, uh, Demola, honestly, you just I just felt uh, like going somewhere and, you know, Staying still for, you know, you can't hear that kind of, especially the second session, uh, Pastor Podju wrapped up so, so powerfully yeah. that you you just want to go over it again and again and again. For me, I'm still, I'm here to recover and I'm still trying to put everything together. And right now, once I leave the studio or perhaps later in the evening, I'm going back to that session. Uh, just, Omar, I can uh, imagine. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's yes, amazing. I totally agree with you, Aki. <laughs> and Demo, exactly what you said. I feel like after that powerful worship session that we just had before now, I just want to find a place to just hide and just worship and just keep worshiping and praying and speaking. It was so powerful, you know, just being in the presence of God. Yeah. And, you know, like Pastor said, we've heard so much. Our faith level is high. It's time to speak, like exactly. speak the word of God. And, you know, just trust that we serve the God of all possibilities and that he can do great things in our life. Right, so right. So I just want to just appeal to every one of you. You know, sometimes um, we, we, we're we trying to bring life. We're, 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 we're committed to give life on the air, but it takes a whole lot. Mm. And I want you not to miss out on a couple of things that have been said in situations like this at WAFBEC or uh, uh, conventions like this where you're speaking and you're under such powerful anointing. Yeah. Um, there, there, there are certain strategies that go in place with what you do and how you go about your own business because mm -hmm. you've received so much virtue and you have to give it up to, you know, um, um, our co-hosts and all of these people who have to come out here immediately after a session like that. And they have to work because they have to actually focus on what they're doing to deliver, you know, this great feeling to you listening out there, it, you know, just say a blessing and say a prayer for all of these people that have to come and do this day in and day out. Covenant Radio has been doing a fantastic job. If I do say so myself <laughs> and um I, I you are blessed to actually be listening in but practically for me i think that uh like we did you know mention in the morning one of the beauties about wafbeck has always been and um the ministry of, of of the covenant nation is the practical teaching of the word of god mm -hmm. like if you listened to pastor Boju's session this afternoon it was so detailed and so practical. Yeah. And he just literally took out all the mystery of faith. Yes. So you don't leave here wondering to yourself, you know, like, oh my goodness, all these giants, how are they doing it? Mm -hmm. You know, he has given you a practical step-by-step -step <laughs> manual and instruction. Yes. And he actually even encouraged us by telling us like, oh, this was one of the things that God actually instructed him to do. Because yes, we, most times, like we said, even on the other day, that um, you had people who would teach faith and you'd hear so many deep things that were almost too deep, but you couldn't connect because of the, you know, the gap. Yeah. Because there was no practical guide as to how you're going, supposed to go about it. Yeah. Yes. You just hear about how you're supposed to walk in the spirit. And you just know walking in the spirit. So you start wondering, am I supposed to be walking on the road and <laughs> praying in tongues? Is that what walking in the spirit is? Or, you know, what oh. practical things do I do? But in this particular session, it was practical. Mm -hmm. You spend time worshiping God and you speak to that particular situation. And that's what I found that has worried a whole lot of people yeah. that I do know about. I'm sure some of yeah. you can relate it's, to it's some so, of those it, things. You said something so profound. You know, in the Bible, um, it, it took us back to the story of David and Goliath and how David actually spoke to, to Goliath. Goliath. Yes. Mm. He, he didn't go there and say, oh, um, God's going to help me uh, some way, somehow. Exactly. I'm just going to defeat this mount, man mountain. I'm just going <laughs> to do it somehow. No, it was precise, practical, just like you said. Yeah. 
Goliath, I'm going to defeat you. And the audacity, the, the, mm. the assurance was there mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. he is going to defeat Goliath. Exactly. And, you know, he just made me go back to some of the times that mm. back in school, I've had some very tough courses. You know, we can all relate to sometimes when we yeah. have some courses and you're like, how am I going to just deliver and get a B in this course? And sometimes some even say, I don't want a B. I just want to pass, mm. you know? There you go. And I, and I remember <laughs> you you read so hard and you ask for understanding, you ask for a retentive memory. But at some point, you just know that you'd, you'd be able to draw out that strength and say, I'm going to read and excel and have, and, and been, have an yeah. A. You're going to be exact about what you're going to have. You're not go just going to guess that somehow God will help me pass or mm -hmm. it's just going to happen in some kind of way. You are going to say it exactly the way it's going to be. And another thing, you know, um, when people start the year, they live by the day. They, they get to like, well, I don't know what tomorrow brings, but whatever tomorrow True. brings, we're True. just going to have it like that. No, he's saying that you have to be very, very practical and you have to be very clear yes, and intentional, intentional and specific. Write it down and look at the things you, and I, I think yesterday to Pastor Andrews, I mentioned this, yeah. write this down. He said he, he had some things listed. And in the mornings, he's going to wake up and mention those things and thank God for those things. Very and practical. those things came out all done by mm. the end of the year. So right. the beginning of the month, you write these things down and you begin to tell God about it. You begin to thank God for it. And you are very clear about what God is going to do. So at the end of the day, it's as if it's already done. It's already done. Yeah. And you are just coming out to confirm what God has already done in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, the cool thing for me with Wavek and all of the messages that we've gotten to listen to is how interconnected everything is. So I remember Pastor Arame said something in the morning session that it's possible that some of us are still living in the 1982 version of yes. ourselves. Yeah, that was that, that struck <laughs> God, That was that struck, yeah. And, yeah. and I wondered that, like, could it be that maybe because, okay, so he talked about the seal. So we are probably still the old version of ourselves because we're not speaking properly. We're not praying, we're asking God for more clarity on what our purpose is, is yeah. what the next season should be. And we're not right. just speaking correctly. And I think even Pastor Andy also said something about light and how it's very important that, you know, when we ask God for light, when we ask God for wisdom, it, it changes our perception. It changes exactly. the way we see ourselves. It changes the way we see our seasons. And so we just want to encourage you friends that, you know, um, I mean, we've heard a lot. If you're like me, I'm sure you've taken loads and loads of notes. notes. Don't throw your notes away. Mm -hmm. Be intentional. And, and, <laughs> and just, just buttress what you said, Debola. Um, you know, um, Pastor Andy also said something about uh, changing your posture. And I'm kind of mm -hmm. linking that mm -hmm. into upgrading your iOS. Maybe your the, the, yeah. the iPhone and yeah. your device. You yeah. are on <laughs> Shout out to all the iPhone <laughs> users. You know, and Pastor Andy said, you've asked God for this, mm -hmm. but he's saying that He's brought you the light. Mm -hmm. You are not the one, he's not going to make you, are, it's now left for you to rise yeah. and let that light shine. Yeah. And for that to happen, you must change your posture. Hallelujah. And how do you change your posture? You must upgrade. Mm. And like she said, Pastor Andy, Pastor Arome, Pastor Poju, and almost even Pastor Laurie, everyone yes. has just been, by the time you listen to all of these people, I encourage uh, everyone to go back and listen again and again. Mm -hmm. You begin to see how everything gets to connect together True. and the sound of many waters, of course, we can draw it out from within us. Yeah. That's, and, that's and, so and, excellent. And that's I feel like, you know, the devil is in play because Pastor said something. He said, it's funny that how by the time we're leaving this conference, that crazy image comes back. That of crazy course. situation comes of back. Course. That when, when it comes, speak immediately. Speak to speak it. Speak to it. Yeah. And, that's, and, and that that's something that, you know, I think that you, uh, um, for people who do things that are excellent, mm -hmm. one of the things that always distinguishes people who are actually practicing excellence is the fact that they pay attention to detail. Mm -hmm. So there are two things, you know, you can actually speak about something. Yeah. Right. I can talk about a dress. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, I saw the dress that Omar was putting on. You know, I, I felt a particular way about that particular dress. And it's different when you are talking to the dress. Mm -hmm. So I can say yeah. to that dress, yeah. you dress <laughs> yeah. on Omar, you are whatever it <laughs> is. Now, exactly. 
so many times we find ourselves talking about our problems and yes. about our issues. You know, David could have actually <laughs> spoken about Goliath. Yes. That you see how big that guy is. I will try and mess him up. Mm. That guy is mm. showed this. He had this accomplishment. He had that accomplishment. Mm. But in this situation, the Lord instructs us to say to the mountain. Mm. And you know, it's funny that when we as believers take on most of these things, I found out from interaction with a lot of people, especially maybe because of the way we are in Nigeria, you know, the way we're brought up, we don't have that nature that habit that culture of speaking to things mm. you know we can talk about things especially i've come to understand this if you were you went through nigeria last year you know mm. uh, you know how nigeria spoke mm. about nigeria last year yeah. you know all the things we said we spoke about the president we spoke about the country mm. we spoke about the economy we spoke about our currency None of us, very few of us spoke to the currency. Mm. Very few of us spoke mm. to the economy. Mm. Very few of us spoke to the country, but we spoke about those things. And if you listen to people who are actually very successful billionaires, yeah. right? Follow them on Instagram, follow them on all of their social media pages. They actually practice this thing. It's just that they exclude wow. Christ. They talk to the situations. They say things, they speak things, they meditate. They, you will see it out mm. there. But it's amazing that when we come in, we who own this, we actually are just very interesting about it. We know we can tweak it. We can talk about things, but we don't talk to things. Yeah. You know, exactly. just like you say, oh, yes, we have this particular course. Did you say to chemistry 101, oh, I am getting an A in you. Yes, sir. Chemistry 101. <laughs> Or you can say, ah, that chemistry is very good. I will mm. practice very hard. Mm. You're talking about it, but you're not talking to it. Mm. So I, I implore all of us to just take a little time, pay attention, just follow the steps that have been fought, that have been instructed us, you know, and let us actually take charge of this year. Don't say to tomorrow. Don't wait till Don't tomorrow wait. and say, exactly. oh, do you know what? Ah, what's happening tomorrow? Only God knows tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. It's not only God that knows tomorrow. All those things that we God say yeah. very much <laughs> is the best. God <laughs> time is the best. You know, <laughs> you know? And, and just, just to, you know, um, buttress on, on, on that again. Um, you know, Pastor was saying something about, you know, um, a, I think a, a member of the church who doesn't listen to um, negative news more yeah. than yes. once, yeah. and that that brings to mind, you know, and even practically, this this has happened to me, uh, where okay, we're all here, we're charged, we 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 just said I'll speak to it, I'll mm. speak positive, and then you go over to the school or to your colleagues, yeah. and the news flash, you're expecting something from a particular um, group or a platform, a news flash, a negative news comes from that platform. Right. What are you saying among mm -hmm. the people? Mm -hmm. Even if you're, um, if you're not with Omar and Demola, I'm now with unbelievers. Exactly. And there is that negative news coming. You're saying, oh, um, every, do you say everything is so destroyed? Oh. Everything is so exactly. bad? Or you're exactly. saying, well, ha, this, this I know. I know the outcome of this. There you or, go. Nigeria is just going to be yeah, in, blessed by this. In, in practical that's times, really practical. I find that, you know, that's something that a lot of people struggle with. The fact that you're going to go into a real-time situation exactly. and you're going to go back into the world. And, you know, it's easier here because all of us have come out from the same instruction under the same anointing. Yes. So to a level of, to an extent, we're carrying the same grace, yeah. you know, in that capacity. So we're thinking our thoughts are aligned, our spirits are aligned in that place. But when you go out into the world, where you have when to be the no light Omar, of the When there's no Omar, when there's no Omar, you know, <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Oh, yeah, and, and, and that's one of the... <laughs> fastest places that I've found that the devil seems to trip us up with. It comes like normal gisto. Because what we're talking about is not a confrontation. You that, it's you just gist. It's after, after, no after matter. all that. You, know, like, oh. you are your guys. Yes. You will just be gisted. And then they just come and say, oh, oh man, now wow. Yeah. Let me give you a practical illustration. You know, for instance, for guys, right? One of the things is that, ah, oh man, we did streets. Yeah. You know, if you're talking with anybody who's actually into <laughs> anything doing work, yeah. you know, he's going to tell you like, ah, we did street. You know, and then when we're on the street, what are we doing? <laughs> we're hustling. Do you understand? But you have been called to a life of grace. You are not called to a life of hustling. Yeah. And you are telling yourself, you know what hustling is? You're grinding it out. You know, I'm on the grind. I'm yeah. hustling. You know, and then you're just talking with your guys. And these things are very cool to say when you're with your boys. Yeah. You know, and everybody's just talking, hey, man, we just day street, man. We just they hustle. You know, and that's why the devil trips you up, oh, mm. because he takes that report. 
and runs right back to heaven and says, yeah, 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 God, look at that guy I was praying. Oh, <laughs> this is what he's really saying. This is what is in his heart. And it's coming right out. And that yeah. doesn't align with what you've the been confessing and whatever you've been declaring about that same situation. Yeah. So you have to yes, that, yeah. be practical about this. And I think Pastor has given us the best and, and the best prescription to, to practice this. Yes. To, whenever it comes up in our mind, the flash is coming or in the midst of the people that are not of like faith, you we speak must speak to it. Speak to it. You can excuse yourself, go somewhere and speak to it. Exactly. And don't say anything that doesn't align to what you have been declaring about that same uh, matter. Totally agree with you. And so friends, um, please right now be going on our very first music break. And when we return, we'll continue our gists exactly. on Wavbeck 2023. 23. So enjoy the songs and we'll be right back after the music break. <laughs> <laughs> 